Let's take a look at how to use BIAS SoundSoap SM, the award-winning audio noise reduction plugin included in Sorensen Squeeze 6. SoundSoap SM is the perfect companion to squeeze and allows removal of unwanted background noise such as clicks, crackles, pops, electrical hum, rumble, HVAC system noise, hiss, and more. With your noisy media file imported into Squeeze, click the plus button in the filter section to create a new filter that can be applied when compressing for final output. In the new filter window, add a custom name and select SoundSoap SM as the filter to use. The SoundSoap SM interface and an audio preview window will appear. The key to using SoundSoap SM is knowing where to learn noise for successful broadband noise reduction on sources such as tape hiss, HVAC system noise, fans, and other similar noises. Any part of a media file that contains just the unwanted hiss or other broadband noise is the ideal place to learn noise. Examples would be the silence between two scenes or a quiet space between sections of dialogue. SoundSoap SM needs at least two seconds of raw noise to be able to learn the frequencies that cause it, so be sure that the area in which you learn noise contains at least two seconds of noise by itself. If you don't have a section of at least two seconds, you can use the looping technique on a shorter area. To learn noise in loop mode, set the in and out point markers in the audio preview window's timeline around a section of noise. Now when you start playback, this section will loop repeatedly, and when you click the Learn Noise button, SoundSoap SM will analyze just the looped section. Once you learn noise, use the rest of the broadband noise reduction controls to fine-tune your results. First, turn on noise-only mode. This allows you to hear what's being removed in real time before any processing is permanently applied. In noise-only mode, adjust the noise tuner knob until you hear only unwanted noise. If you hear any of the voice, music, or other desired content, turn the noise tuner counterclockwise until you hear just the unwanted noise. Once the noise tuner is set properly, switch to on mode and adjust the noise reduction knob to the desired level. The wash window works as a visual aid. The left half displays the original audio signal, and the right half shows the signal after cleaning. Red represents noise, and blue represents the desired audio content. The following controls are not dependent on a learned noise profile, and can be toggled on and off as needed, before or after learning noise. The Remove Click and Crackle slider reduces clicks and crackles such as those found in recordings of vinyl records, as well as digital clicks and pops from abrupt edits or other brief transients. Preserve Voice filters audio content above the frequency range of the human voice and helps clean up dialogue. Remove Rumble helps filter very low frequency noise, such as turntable motor rumble, or perhaps the sound of an idling truck or other equipment picked up in a video shoot. Remove Hum filters out 50 or 60 Hz electrical hum. The setting you use depends on the electrical current in the part of the world where the recording was made. The Enhance slider can be used to adjust tone and optimize sound quality. Let's run through all these steps with audio playing. This example contains broadband noise and electrical hum, along with some digital clicks and pops. To remove this hum, simply click the 60 hertz hum removal button. switch over to video. Mobile video solutions have really opened up the To take out the clicks and pops, just raise the click and crackle removal slider until they're gone. Use the lowest possible setting that removes them to minimize artifacts. Well, I started off as a still photographer, and then about 10 years ago, I actually made the switch. And I'll turn on Remove Rumble to take out the very low frequency really noise. The possibilities for us and what we can do in the field. We can actually shoot in the morning. Now let's find an area of broadband noise to learn. This section should work well, but it's shorter than two seconds, so let's set up a loop. I'll drag the in and out point markers into place around this section of noise, and ideally, the in and out point markers should be set in the lowest level sections of the waveform, so as to create a smoothly repeating loop like this. With the loop set, I'll click the Learn Noise button. Once the button pops out, SoundSoap SM has created a noise profile and given us a good starting point. Now let's fine tune the results. Well, I started off as a still photographer, and then about 10 years ago, I actually. We'll go into noise only mode. Mo Adjust the noise tuner until we hear just unwanted noise. We can do it in the field. Go back to on mode. About 10 years ago, I actually made the switch over to video. And turn up the amount Mobile of noise reduction. Have really opened up the possibilities for us and what we can do in the field. We can actually shoot in the morning or at night and edit it down right there Since on the Since we're page. dealing with speech, I'll also turn on the preserved voice filter. Well, I started off as a still photographer, and then about 10 years ago, I actually made the switch over to video. And then Mobile I'll adjust the enhanced slider really to add a little low end back into the voice. For us and what we can do in the field. We can actually shoot in the morning or at night and edit it down right there on location. To apply these noise reduction settings, save this custom filter and drag it into the Job Process area and click the Squeeze It button. SoundSoap SM's noise reduction settings are applied to Squeeze's final output. You can learn even more about using SoundSoap by watching the full-length tutorial in the Product Videos section of the BIAS website at www.bias-inc.com.
And for even more audio cleaning, restoration, effects, processing, and editing tools, check out the entire Bias product line at www.bias-inc.com forward slash products. Mm-hmm.